I just don't think I can do this no more. She treats me like I'm some kind of stupid person. I'm a smart man, not a very smart man, but I'm sort of smart. And a man can only take so much abuse before he does one of two things. He's either going to snap or he's going to run. I thought long and hard on this decision and I made up my mind. I'm going to run away from this crazy bitch and never look back. And that's just what I did. Welcome to Darth News, the news you never knew you needed, you wanted, that you had to have in your life. Special edition, everybody uh, everybody has to go on a walk sometimes. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta take a walk and, and just cool off. It's like when you're getting really angry and heated over something, it, it's just best if you take a hike, you know what I mean? For like 280 miles, that should, that should do it. Anyways, if you're new to this channel, then God bless you. Uh, only, uh, but only if you subscribe. God is only going to bless you if you subscribe. If you didn't subscribe, then I, I, I ta I'm taking it back. I'm taking that shit back. Well, today I have a treat for all y'all motherfuckers that don't like me getting political. It's a treat to all of you who are sick of Amber Heard videos. This is not a political video, and it's not about Amber Heard, so... Ah, everyone's happy. Personally, I find this story to be hilarious and also very relatable because I think we can all relate to the situation. I think we can all relate or, or remember a time when we had to walk away, when we got in a fight with our significant other, or we got into a fight with a family member or a friend or a stranger, you know, in, in a line at a grocery store. You just have to walk away. So this is one of those anybody can relate videos. So without any further fucking ado, Let's just get into it. I was gonna say jump into it, but I don't wanna get sued because DeFranco's a fucking faggot. Yeah, he is. Oh, I can't say that word? Oh, it's a bundle of sticks. No, yeah, well, I'm not just using that as a cover to say the word, I'm, but I'm telling you, it, it is. I don't wanna have this argument, okay? Look, I don't have to prove it to you. You you can Google it. Just look it up. I'm, pu I'm pushing it, aren't I? I'm, I'm pushing it a little bit? Yeah, all right. I'm not a homophobe. I suck dick for a living. R you wanna bring that up, Tina? Re really? So mature. Whatever, Tina, I was 10 years old and she was my babysitter. I don't care if she was fat or not. She was, you know, easy. Z -z 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 You're making me say things on camera that I don't wanna say. And I'm not gonna edit it out either. We're gonna leave it in. True story. It's, true st it's a true story. So with no more interruptions and no more further fucking adoos, let's go ahead and jump into today's article. Sue me to Franco, you fucking <laughs> Applejack, hit it! So today's too good to be true and rather comical news story is brought to us by Not The Bee. They say an Italian husband took a 280 mile walk to, <laughs> to cool down after a fight with his wife. Then he got fined for breaking lockdown restrictions. What a double whammy. Damn, this is a bad week for this dude. Like, god damn. I mean, 280 miles. What were you thinking? Did you bring your wallet? What, did you did you have money? Did you did you pack a sleeping bag? Did you did you bring anything? A toothbrush? Dude, 280 miles is that's that's far. That's fucking far. You know, if you get in a fight with your girlfriend you, or your wife and you walk two miles down the road. You're making a statement. You're making a bold statement. It's like, bitch, I ain't got time for you. I don't need a car. I don't need a bike. I'm gonna walk two miles out of here. That's making a statement. 280 miles? That's just you're, you're just you're just you're just bragging. You're bragging. Shit, I think the furthest I've walked after getting in a fight with my ex-girlfriend was like around the block, like three or four times, and I made her think that I was like, you know, walking away somewhere far, but I actually just kept walking around the neighborhood. Um, yeah, no, 280 miles, th that's just bragging rights. And if this man didn't walk 280 miles just for bragging rights, then um, he, he needs to reevaluate his uh, relationship situation ASAP. I mean, I understand taking a walk to cool off, but walking 280 miles is not gonna cool you off. It's gonna warm you up. It's gonna make you sweat. It's gonna make you burn calories. Maybe get maybe get into shape, some cardio kind of shape, but it, it, it's, it's not gonna cool you off. So I don't know what kind of fight y'all had, but it must have been bad. I mean, dude, I, I, I've been in some bad fights. I've witnessed some bad fights. 
but I can only imagine how bad this fight must have been. Unless he's just one of those soy boy petty bitches that's just like, I can't believe you like that guy's Instagram photo. I'm trying to picture like the fight, like the magnitude of this fight that they got into. Unless like this bitch was being an Amber Heard to him, maybe she turned into an Amber Heard. Maybe he actually loves her, but she's just an Amber Heard, you know, and it's like, fuck. So he has to take a, a walk across the goddamn state to figure out, you know, if he actually wants to be with her or not. And if that was the case, then the only word of advice I have for him is to keep walking another 200 miles if you still don't know if you want to be with her or not. Keep walking, don't stop, just keep, keep going. And on the topic of continue, let's continue reading this article and see what they have to say. They say an unnamed Italian husband got so damn mad at his wife that he needed to take a walk to calm down. But friends, that walk turned into a week long, oh damn, a week, holy shit. Well, I guess that makes sense, 280 miles, you know, okay, well, damn. Okay, so that turned into a week long, 280 mile hike through Italy. Damn, so where'd he sleep? The fuck? So he just walked out his door and was like, I'm gone, bitch. Bye. No car, no bike, no no, no scooter, no, no, no rollerblades, no fucking unicycle, nothing. The dude just started running. I mean, well, he didn't run the whole way. He, I mean, he, he did hike. He hiked most of the way, actually. He hiked. He didn't run, sorry. But I, I got caught up with my whole Forrest Gump video in the beginning. But anyway, so he, uh, <laughs> he hiked most of the way, but he was hiking through Italy, which... I am Italian, I, I've been to Italy many times. I've been all the way from the from the tip of the boot all the way to the top. I mean, you you name it, I've been I've been there. And it is beautiful. And I I I actually kind of envy him for being able to do that. That's a that's a great hike. I, I mean you, you can't really complain. It's not it's not a it's not a bad hike. I mean you, you could be hiking through Oklahoma or fucking Nebraska where I mean that would be a terrible hike. No scenery, you know what I mean? That would be awful. Not that I, I got love for Nebraska and Oklahoma. I'm just saying, you know, you, you could have hiked in a worse place than Italy. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, I think I understand why he went 280 miles because it's just so goddamn beautiful. You want to keep going. So anyway, he walked all the way through Italy and it ended up when the police um, picked him up and fined him for being out during Italy's strict 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew. Oh, shit. Damn, you done gone fucked up, son. You were out past 10 p.m. You know that's when COVID is the most contagious. That's when it's the most fucking re. That's when, that, that's, seriously, that's when COVID is rampant. After 10 p.m., dude, your chances of getting COVID go up like by 100%. Basically, if you're out after 10 p.m., you have COVID now. That's basically guaranteed. So you better stay inside between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. And not a minute before 5 a.m. Because if you go, I mean, I'm telling you, if you go outside, before 5 a.m. at like 4.59, the air is gonna blow some COVID coof particles into your, you know, your bloodstream, your mouth and your nostrils, and you're gonna get it. You're gonna fucking get it, guaranteed. Guaranteed. I mean, you have to trust me. If I say I guarantee you're gonna get COVID, if you step outside at 4.59 a.m., you're gonna get COVID. You have to trust me. I'm a trustworthy fella, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of those rare breeds. I'm honest. Except to my parole officer. I don't have a parole officer, I'm just kidding. Probation officer. No, I don't have, that was that was a long time ago. Um, hey. uh, anyway, so that's enough of that. Let's read on. They say the man who's 48 years old averaged about 40 miles a day and made it from Como all the way up to Fano, the beach resort on the Adriatic coast. The police said that he was cold and tired when they found him, but otherwise okay. They then called his wife who reported him. <laughs> <laughs> reported him missing. She came and picked him up and also covered his 400 uh, euro fine. <laughs> that, it's so revealing. I think we know who wears the pants in the house. I think we know who is the sugar mama, who's the breadwinner. It's the, it's, the, it's the wife and he can't deal with it. I think she is overpowering him. She is controlling. Dude, it, okay, he, he walked away. I mean, he was gone for seven days, so that's fair enough to you know report somebody missing, but I guarantee you this bitch had her phone in her hand and she had 911 on speed dial the second he walked out the door and she reported a missing persons immediately. Not that you would need 911 on speed dial because it's only three numbers, but maybe, maybe is that a thing? I don't know, I don't know. But anyways, I guarantee you this bitch was overbearing and he just had to get out. He had to get some fresh air. You know how I know that she's the problem and not him? Because he walked 280 fucking miles. That's how I know. This man gave no fucks, and by the looks of it, apparently he didn't sleep, and probably if he did, he slept on the side of the road. For seven days, he, he marched 40 miles a day, 
to, to get as far away from this fucking crazy person as he could. Now, I'm not saying all women are crazy, but you know, it, it kind of comes off like the Johnny situation where he would try to leave the fight and she'd be like, where are you going? I mean, where are you going? Come back here, let's keep fighting. And he's like, no, I just need to walk away. You know, I felt like um, that's probably what's going on here. I feel like that's probably what's going on here. I feel like she uh, maybe is a little bit over possessive and he had to get some air. Like a lot of it. I, I mean, she's she's clearly wearing the pants. She's clearly making the money. She's clearly the breadwinner. She is, she, she is, um, I mean, I'm doing a whole lot of assuming here. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm doing a lot of assuming. I shouldn't assume so much, especially if I don't do the research besides this one little article, but, uh, I mean, I mean wow, you know? What's that? How do I feel about this story? Uh, I don't think you want to know my, my true feelings. Okay, well, well, well I'll, I'll give you the watered down version. I think you, uh, you should, uh, eh, you know, I don't know. I, I guess the, the moral of the story is that the lesson to be had, make sure she's the one, you know, start, start there. Make sure she's, you know, she's the one. Uh, also, if you're, you know, if you're um, thinking about proposing to your girlfriend, take a, take a step back and really try to think, you know, if she's ever done anything that Amber Heard would have done to Johnny to you. If she has, if she's ever been a little Amber, well, it only takes a little flame to catch a, you know, a whole house on fire. So I, re I recommend if you even get a little hint, a little tingling sensation that she's a little bit like Amber, Amber Heard, just to be clear, dump her ass. You know, on the other hand, if you are one of those soy boy cucks and you like to get cucked, and you like it when the woman is always being a bitch to you, then, um, you know, feel feel free to stick around, especially if you love exercise, you know, because if she does this to you once a week, man, can you imagine that you 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 cross like a thousand miles in a month? You, you would be in the best shape of your life from running away from your significant other. It's a hell of a workout. It's like, that's like a mental workout and a physical workout, like all in one. So anyways, I just figured that I would make today's story neutral. It would, I would make it just a, a rando story. One that we can all agree on. I mean, maybe we don't agree on it, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But it, it, at least it's a, it's a neutral topic if you don't get into the nitty gritty of like the argument, you know? But like, I just thought it was a, you know what, you know what? This is the last time I'm doing this, fuck this. You guys don't give a shit about my random news stories, do you? You don't care. I mean, yeah, exactly. See, see, nobody actually gives a shit about these random news stories that I cover. Except for like five of you. I love you though, I love you, but nobody, nobody cares. But you know what? Fuck it, who cares? Because I don't care. Because you don't care. Why am I even here? You know what would be awesome though? Is if this Italian motherfucker somehow stumbled across this channel and uh, took my advice and, uh, and, and got the fuck out of Dodge. Anyways, that's all I really have to say on the matter. Thank you so damn much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. I appreciate your view. And until next time, don't you dare forget to pull out, you dirty motherfuckers. And as always, if you enjoyed my content, even a little tiny Asian penis, penis. I'm really, tr I'm working on the voice. It's just, it's just, I'm just not getting any better. I'm practicing, but I think I'm practicing in the wrong the wrong way. Little penis, Asian penis. If you like my content, even a little, like a little bit, you know, you should consider like sharing or subscribing or you, you know, you don't have to do that. Of course, this is a free country unless you live in Guatemala. Is that a free country? China, whatever. Uruguay, Chile, New Guinea, Haiti, I, I, I don't, I, I'm just, okay, yeah, I'm just naming random countries. I don't, I don't know. And anyways, that's not the point. The point I'm trying to make is if you're interested in my channel and you're thinking about subscribing, if you're like teetering, like, should I subscribe or should I not subscribe? Let me make your mind up for you. You should, you, you fucking should. But if you don't want to, if you think I'm an asshole or I'm just like a, you know, just a cringy douchebag wearing a mask and kitty ears and you know, whatever, that's fine. To each their own, you know, th this is a, uh, this is America. So do as, do as you please. But leave me, leave, drop, drop a like on the way out though. You know what I mean? Like if you're never going to come back, just drop a like and get the fuck out of here. Or, or dislike, you know, you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you like or dislike because you can't, 
What? Uh, Tina, I'm talking. Look, you can dislike the video or like the video. And you know what you can do? You can undislike it or you can unlike it. You can, you could, you, you can, you can switch swap. You know, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? T Tina, I'm talking. Okay, I'm fucking talking. You can dislike the video or like the video. My point is, you can unlike it or undislike it, but you can't unview it. Haha. -ha. See? See how I trapped you? It doesn't matter if you like it or dislike it. It doesn't matter if you unsubscribe or subscribe. I got your view. It's your mind, bitch. Don't worry, I get it. I meant what I said when I said it, lady. I never want to look at it. I'm, I'm winking. Can you tell them? Can you, can you see me wink? Like, can, do you get the vibe that I'm winking, even though you can't tell? It's just my turn. I, I, I'm, you know, Tina, you've never been a help. Ever. And Applejack, you've been slacking with the whole, you know, hit it thing. No, Tina, I'm not buying the cocaine next time. Either, no, I bought it the last four times. Either you and Applejack split it, or, or you, I don't know, just cough up the fucking money. I, you, you try to give me shit for saying I had a fucking addict, I, I was a problem, that I was doing it too much, and now you're trying to get me to buy it for you? <sighs> Tina, I don't, I don't know if I'm disappointed or proud. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm proud. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll buy it. It's on me. On the house.